Lords preserve ye. Looking for a hunter named Neelan. Found him. What do you want? Hear about your notice. I'm a witcher. When do you last see your wife? Oh, five days past, before dawn. On my way out to hunt, she were asleep. I come back, found no sign of her. Notice anything strange? Maybe her behavior? No, she were a happy, smiling self. Nothing different of late. She's not run off, if that's what you're asking. Maybe she went to the neighboring village, forgot to tell you. No, my sister were never gone this long before. Tried looking for her? Asked around the village, none saw her go. She must have left when they were still sleeping. Told her time and again not to wander off on her own. She never listened. I must have some men folk to scour the woods. Nothing. Oh, look in the woods. You might have missed something. Ask around, too. She have any friends? Hannah kept... keeps to herself, mostly. Watches the blacksmith's youngins at times. And in the village, Glenna, the butcher's wife, she likes her best. Thanks. I'll try to find her, but no promises. Greetings, you Glenna. Hi. But gristle and marrow is all I'm willing to sell, and you'll have to wait till I'm done carving it. You the butcher's wife? Butcher? Please. Might have called him a butcher when we lived in the shade of Novigrad's walls. Now he deals in carrion, fallen animals, their bones still fit for soup. So, buying something? Wanted to talk to you about Hannah. Hear you were friendly. She come by at times. We talk. She seems strange lately. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. Strange. No. A cheerful soul always. If I'm to judge, it's the wolves got her. Been howling the nights through lately. Even the Baron's men are feared to come by. Hannah must have gone to the wood to gather mushrooms, maybe. Straight too deep, and the howlers got her. Thanks. Farewell. Mount Scrabs, give us a tail. What are you looking at? About the fairy? Or the unicorn? Ha ha! Mountains! Farewell. We'll meet again. My dad used to make swords like yours. Can I touch it? It's sharp. Better not. Need to talk to your father. I forged swords once. Now it's size and O's. For good arms, you'll need to go to Novigrad. Wanted to ask you about Hannah. Heard she looked after your children. Aunt Hannah? Do you know where she is? No, that's why I'm here. She maybe tell you where she was going or anything else? Turnips are healthy, and we ought to eat them. I saw her go to the forest with another lady. It was dawn almost. I'd gone out so I wouldn't wet the pallet. The forest? She's done for. Why? A huge pack roams the area. None from the village dares go in the forest. Neelan's only one not afeard, but then he's a hunter. Did you get a good look at the other woman? Know who it was? No. She walked in front of Aunt Hannah. I couldn't see. Thanks. Farewell. You see me muscles? Get going! Blowing hangover.
Witcher. What are you doing here? Shouldn't be in the forest alone. I came to tell you. You needn't look for Hannah. She'd have returned long past were she alive. I'll pay you twice Neilan's pledge. Just tell the man his Hannah's dead. Don't want to know what happened to her? I've no illusions, Witcher. In Velen, you're gone as long as she's been. You don't come back. Hannah's dead for certain. Neilan ought to accept his loss. Move on with his life. Strange. People usually prefer to know the fate of their loved ones, whatever the cost. What good will it do? I'll not get my sister back. And Neilan's all I got left. I can't lose him too. And, well, he'll not rest till he avenges his Hannah, even if it eats up his life. The man deserves better. Sorry, not in the habit of leaving jobs undone. Folks speak true about you witchers. You're heartless beasts. Claw marks. Deep. Mm, no man did this. Claws, flesh torn clear off. This is getting interesting. Must be Hannah. Smell of a rotting corpse. Torn to pieces, little spattered all around. Werewolf, no doubt about it. Gotta be careful. off, leaves them in the woods. Looks like a hunter's quarters.
we need to talk. It's Naylan! Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse, so sorry, but I have to. You don't understand! I love him! He was near to being mine till you came along! Go away! Leave us be! Not till I find out what's going on here. I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shoved myself in here to wait out me change? I knew, and I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here. That night. It was the reason I had the taste of blood in me mouth come morn. I did it for us. She was to see you turn, not more. I didn't want her death. You've got to believe me. I don't. And I'll kill you willingly. First time for that, in fact. You won't kill anyone, ever again. No! Don't hurt him! Get out of here before I change my mind. Run. Show me what you got. going.
source of power should draw from it.
Greetings, Ibier. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? So long. Unofficially, they're tremendous. Unofficially, they Thanks for the invite. Congratulations. Quite the win of the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Lovely. Colour me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, because I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. The Palio is above all a race of honour. The winner doesn't just win a reward. He earns our respect as well. So... 
Take your positions and get the fuck going. Beaver had a good up for approving you. Congratulations. Whoa, slow down. Give us a kiss, Geralt. No? Then I'll smooch that roach of yours. That were lovely. And my pay? Take it, you cheeky bastard. Never met a man who earned his coin fairer than you did today. Temple God, scatter! We gotta get the fuck out of here. Thanks, Geralt. <laughs> Rumble time! He's hexing! Drop your weapon! You white one. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly.
Vodka. Nothing here for you. Nothing here for you. Nothing here for you. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back, though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. No courtesies needed? Perfect. But remember, I'm not your soldier, or page, or dog, so don't give me any orders. Would you prefer I order my guards? Look around. I need only Beckham. Geralt. Now report. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. 
I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Raphael Elen, Kedmel Foli, Gradiv Dorn Eptened Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip, and is this? 
Now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Things sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Oh. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in. Not even a nice-to-see you. Jumps right into a... We've a curse to live. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things. Through the bed off the balcony. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. You mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse. Not what she plans to do with it. Despite our asking. He's up to something. Glad you noticed. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck.
rascal's tracks. The nose knows. Off to this state. <laughs> Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's Bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher, Wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Try to limit myself to the sorceresses from now on. No doubt the most pleasant part. Though I'm not sure it ain't the most dangerous, too. <laughs> Incoming. There it is. I see it. Picked a bad day to leave its nest. Big bastard! We can handle this. Damn it! It's taking off! Hit the wings! Scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a warhorse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost knight once. You know, woods, stuff. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song fled to its lair, looks like? Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. say to a little race. Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! Go speed ahead.
Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Come on. Not gonna take anything from you. Buy me around sometime and we'll call it good. Done deal. Specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Mind if I have a look? Want to do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh... Bits of undigested food, a few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks, she only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. I think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel.
What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri. Yeah, I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right. No time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, sorry. The potential Cirilla. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, I meant to tell you. Can't get to the Circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. I've been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. choice. Hunting's almost a diversion with that Gabriel. You gotta get me one. Well, well. Color me impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zaracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. The castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! Moored it right here, I swear. Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes.
water. Great. Last thing we need. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Got to sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat. Not up for discussion. Yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside... Ugh, oh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Sheesh, you're pricklier than Yen. Ugh, oh, don't fall in love with me. Let's go. <coughs> Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's got to be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine. Let's go. safe now. Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the foglets to take care of now. You're not going to let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, 
whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? Dandelion should sing about you instead. Lambert, the smart-ass witcher. Better that than naive. Smart asses live longer. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. The wall looks a little shaky. Hard make mine not stomping like that. Relax, I slipped. We need to be quiet. I could do without a warm welcome from old spear tip. Ah! What? Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. If it wasn't from a broken mirror, that would make you so even nastier. Tells me he's not gonna like this. reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Ah, uh, so soft and sweet, just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last. Just lost the element of surprise. Wouldn't care less. I'm up for two. Probably. Let's get out of here. Wait. That's for Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> Voltaire. Who's that? Don't remember? Little guy. A scar on his chin right here. Oh, yeah, I remember. All we can do now. Never made it out of here. Let's go. to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on.
<laughs> See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Chassis to walk no more. The stops? Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> mm-hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave, before they stone us to death. Far more. Which is this? Understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the circle of elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to Witchesy Castle. Rock's not there. Let a rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll rock troll. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher, good? Only you. Witcher's his monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. Mm. Um, we do go this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No quiz. We smash. All right, we'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. What the no? Ugh, metal, mouth, thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. I think you might have missed your calling. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, Witcher's kill monsters. Your memory is shit. They only kill harmful monsters. They threw stones at us, Geralt. Whine about it to Eskel later. Just... Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air?
factories in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Didn't have to kill them. But I could, so I did. Two whore sons less in the world. Big deal. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. Think it's that bad being a witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Want to hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peachy. The road beckons, my good man. Our companions await. Need to get our swords. Which are with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Which is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Gerald, let's go. Let's get back. After you, sir.
Yes? What is it, Wolf? I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. No offense, but why all the construction? So the roof tiles don't drop on our heads? Roof tiles usually fall from the roof. You're putting up walls, rebuilding the fortress for three people. Why? Because I remember how it was, Wolf, before the massacre. We were 20, and that's just teachers. As for candidates, I can't turn back the clock, I know. But I refuse to just sit and stare at these ruins. Ran into an old friend of yours, Countess Mignot. Huh? Impossible. Where? Auction house in Oxenford. She's an aficionado, a collector. Witcher gear. Imagine that. Old school of the wolf armor, for instance. Hmm, right. A fine gambus on that was. It had sleeves of chain mail and... Ah. Love letters conveyed by a governess. Trysts in garden nooks. You scampering out a window. <laughs> Last person I imagined dabbling in that sort of thing. Mm. You might find it hard to believe, but I was young too once. Well, younger. She still lives in Oxenford. No itch to go there, see her? Later, maybe. Once it's over. Once things are calm again. See you later, Vesemir. Can we talk? I'm looking for Siri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? How can I help you? You think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? <laughs> so do I. So long.